Welcome back to Life and Fork. On today's episode, I'm going to be showing you how to make salmon tacos with a little bit of teriyaki sauce and some pineapple. This recipe I'm about to show you is really simple. Teriyaki and pineapple are two classics. You've seen them on burgers, you've seen them on everything. So I thought, why not try to do it in a taco? And why not a seafood taco? So I chose salmon as my fish for the taco because it's a really nice fatty fish and it also brings a lot of flavor and a lot of potential. So I'm gonna walk you through the steps. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take a pineapple and we're gonna break it down. So grab your knife, take the two ends off. Now you're just gonna follow down the sides. We're gonna discard all this, clean off our cutting board. That way none of this stuff from the, the core gets inside the diced pineapple. So for this, for we're only making three tacos, so we don't need that much pineapple. So what I'm gonna do is just take a couple slices off this pineapple and dice it. So what I'm gonna do is take slices like that. Probably just need two. I'm gonna save this to the side, and I'm gonna dice this down. Now for the salmon that I'm using, I'm using a seven ounce piece of salmon with uh, the skin still on. I like to cook the fish with the skin still on because it gives it that little bit more of a natural taste. I don't know, maybe there's some salt in there. Whatever it is, that's just the way I cook it. So we're gonna move to the stove and start cooking our salmon. Before we go though, the rest of the ingredients are some super greens and of course three corn tortillas and a little bit of teriyaki sauce. You can use your own, you can use whatever kind you want. All right, now what we're gonna do, we're over here by the stove. We got our pan on here and getting nice and hot. Always remember that the pan has to be nice and hot. That way you get a good sear. As always, we're gonna add about a teaspoon of coconut oil to the pan. Let it melt out nice and slow. Now for the fish, what we're gonna do is take a little bit of kosher salt and put it on top. Now I'm gonna put my top piece down on the pan to let it cook. And while it's doing that, I'm gonna put a little bit more kosher salt on the back side. I'm gonna cook this on medium about, I would say four minutes on each side. All right, at this point, the salmon's almost done. It's cooking in the back. I'm gonna let it cook through while we start getting ready. What we're gonna do is take our three corn tortillas, take them over to the stove and heat them up. Now, what we usually use to heat up corn tortillas at this point is a, what's known as a comal. If you don't have a comal, you can just use the open burner. That's what I do sometimes if I'm just being lazy and don't wanna pull it out. But a comal is basically a, fat, a flat grill or a griddle. So whatever you wanna use, but take your tortillas, 
heat them up. Usually you can tell that they're heated up perfectly when they puff up a little bit. So look for that. All right, now what we're gonna do is lay out our corn tortillas this way. We're gonna bring over our pan with the salmon in it. Here's where it becomes a little bit messy and kind of fun actually. Put a little bit of teriyaki sauce on top. Now you're gonna take a fork and break it up. You might wonder why I didn't cut these into strips. I find when you cut into strips that the salmon gets a little bit too dry, if that makes sense. So by cooking it whole, I get more of a moisture out of it. So there'll be a lot of pieces that are medium rare and then some crispy ends, almost like if you were doing ribs. So now that it's all mixed in with the teriyaki, I'm just gonna put some of the salmon. See how it flakes apart nicely? You still see some of the medium rare in there. Just like that. And then of course, the leftover sauce right on top. Drizzle that, beautiful. Now we're gonna top off with a little bit of the pineapple. So like I said, you saw how much pineapple we cut. You can judge how much you want on there. I like to add a little bit just because of the sweetness of it. So I just keep it very moderate. I'm gonna top it with some greens. To add that nice color to it. So there you go, you see how easy those tacos are and then the flavor is just intense. We're about to find out if it's true. So all you do is grab it, be careful. As you can tell, most Mexican restaurants now are doing like two corn tortillas. I still only do one, just to keep it a little bit healthy. So as long as you toast them really good, they don't break apart. The flavor is sweet, salty. The greens add a little bit of a bitterness. It's really cool to see how the flavors came out. Since it's almost like a traditional, you go in teriyaki and pineapple, which is more Chinese, Japanese, and then the Mexican version, which is the tacos, of course, fish tacos. Cool recipe, really fun for the summer, uh, seasonal, whatever you wanna do. You can always change the fish. Leave me any comments down below. Uh, as always, hit subscribe, hit the bell, hit the reminders. Love you guys, until next time.